Hey everyone, welcome back to Pat's Creature Cave. I'm Pat, this is A-Hole, and he's getting a new home today. Alright, so a while back I did film a video with a bunch of tarantulas, uh, some slings that I got from Fear Not, and this little guy was one of them. No, 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 no. Not good. Um, he's a Togo Starburst or a Heteroscodra Maculata. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Still haven't sexed him, but he's. He's approaching probably an inch and a half to two inches, and this little cup that he started off in as a little a little bugger, he has outgrown it, webbed it all up. Pretty much there is nothing left of what it was laid out to be, as he's he's changed it. So, anyways. We're going to put them in a new home. We've got this uh, arachnid shop, um, acrylic enclosure. It's got a sliding front with magnetic clasps. Got vents on the side, both opposing sides, and the top. Uh, it should work well for a arboreal species like this one uh, that tends to move up as it gets bigger, and hopefully it'll stay in here a bit longer than um, well it did in this one but anyways without further ado let's start setting up a-hole's new home now we're gonna start with some creature soil um, I've been using this quite a bit in quite a few of the tarantula enclosures and it seems to work really well so we'll stick with it for now so I'm going to empty this bag in here and I'm going to put the cork bark in. Uh, though I will be attaching some plants to it just for some more anchor points. So I've got the hot glue ready. So we're going to try to position this in the back, something like this, and maybe have the plants stick off towards the front. And we'll stick some moss on there. So usually with the hot glue, while it's still hot, I'll put a little bit on the outside of the leaf, the leaves. You can see like that. And it just helps hide the little stem, makes it look a little bit better. All right, so we'll go with something like this. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. So this one's a little dished out in the back. Strings go everywhere. All right. So before I finish filling this in, because I did test fit this earlier and it just barely fits, so we'll kind of mound that up a little bit back there, and we will slide this puppy in. should be able to provide a pretty good um, like round area for the spider to web up and work with. I want it to be as deep as I can without it interfering with the sliding front. So we'll pack down a little bit, the spider will move it. I think that's pretty good there. Now I think we will wet it down a little bit. Try to give most of it a, a pretty good um, moistening. And then as the enclosure starts to age and the spider starts to get more comfortable with it, we'll start just doing a water dish 
and a little bit of overflowing it. So this is an old world. So this spider is very fast. It does have venom but no urticating hairs which I suppose does make it easier to work with but then again it doesn't because it's an old world and a little nervous about moving this this little spoon around. We're going to put a small water dish right here at the front. I do have a larger one coming because I'm out of the, the next size up which are about an inch and a half. Put it somewhere and the spider will move it around, use it for the webbing. I'll put some at the base back here which I'll show you guys in a second. I know you can't see what I'm doing. And I've got some dried leaf litter we're also going to put in here. Crush it up a little bit. So, enclosure is set up now. You guys can see. Now the fun part of getting the angry little spider into the enclosure. Okay, catch cup. Paintbrush. We're going to slide this in part way to try to ensure the spider goes where it's supposed to. Oh, I wish I knew where he was at in here. Okay, I see legs. I'm going to try to set the, the small enclosure in there, so hopefully he goes that way. Like up a leaf or something. And you can see him right there. Right there. Try to get this closer so you can see. Can't really see anything, I'm sure. Come on, buddy. Come on. Be a good little spood. Go to your new home. Find little pieces of cork bark and everything inside the, the dirt and web. I haven't seen in months. You guy is so fast. See him there? Quite a bit bigger than the last time I had the, the lid completely off. Which has been a long time. He is so quick and just refusing to go. No. Ah! <sighs> Did it again, you little turd. <laughs> you see him trying to hide? Yeah, and get him to climb up. Up the cup. There you go. Alright. <laughs> okay. A little nerve wracking. Could have been worse. This free house went fairly well, surprisingly aside from him hiding outside of the new enclosure or her I'm not sure which yet so anyways that is my process for rehousing a very skittish HMAC Heteroscodra Maculata then crazy little old world spider if you guys have any questions um, I will put a couple links below for some of the products that I used here that way if anybody has any questions or is looking for something similar you'll be able to find it um, if you've had any issues rehousing your tarantulas or any funny stories, leave me a comment below. And maybe myself or others might get a little chuckle or be able to avoid you know, some of the pitfalls that you might run into. Hope you guys all have a good night. I'm going to get this one back up on the shelf and get everybody else fed and taken care of for the night. Till next time, everybody. Take care.